Hello and welcome. This is Lewis Laughlin from www.bristolwatch.com. Here is a little more fun and games with Arduino. In this case, we're going to be connecting a 74164 serial shift register to an LCD display and connect it to Arduino. Uh, I wrote quite, uh, wrote quite a bit of my own code for this and it's on the website and it's listed on the links that go with this. I decided not to insert an explanation of all the code. Uh, it's pr fairly self-explanatory. But I will give you a brief rundown on the electrical connections themselves. Here is the schematic diagram on how to hook a two line by 16 character LCD display to a 74164. Fairly simple and it's self explanatory. Um, I've used all eight bits on the LCD display. On the chip itself, the 74164, we really have three inputs. One is a, sort of a master clear. I tie that off to VCC. I don't use it. It's not necessary in this. Then we have a clock. A clock is a um, low to high transition, I believe. Um, we'll clock the data or we'll shift the data one bit at a time from the data pin in to the eight flip-flops that uh, comprise the serial shift register. Over here on the LCD display we have really two connections from that that go to the Arduino. We have four connections total anyway. The clock and the data for the 164 and we need to be concerned with RS and E. R, the logic level on RS, for example, determines whether the byte written into the display is a command or is it character data. Going down here, if RS is set to zero, it is considered a command. If it is one, it's considered character data. E simply uh, clocks the data into the, uh, well, it, sh it lock, well, you wouldn't say clocked, eh, I guess you could, um, inputs the data or command into the display and the rest is handled internally. And that's basically a high to low transition and then we will return high until the next character or command is input. All right. So, like I said, you can see all the code that I wrote. The code that I wrote um, will show you how to put in character strings, integers, um, floats, or characters. And there's a lot of flexibility. What I did was get around not using anyone's pre-made libraries. I'm just going to use what comes in the uh, Arduino compiler and some of it is drawn from basically old C commands that are still just as good today in Arduino as it was when it was originally written for whatever it's used for. The reason I did that is very simple. A lot of the people who come up with these libraries are Atmel programmers. They're very good and they're very good at hiding everything they're doing. And I'm not about to sit here and take a college engineering course in Atmel programming that I have not much use for to try to uh, decompile their programs. And by doing your own code, you learn how to use it to do different things. So what the code that I used to operate this here could be used on a microchip pick, for example. But anyway, so much for that. Let's get to the let's watch the video and see what we've got. Okay, what we're looking here is another Arduino gadget. Um, one of the Arduino basic mini boards is plugs in. 
LCD display. This chip over here, which we'll look closer at it in a minute, says 74164, that's a serial shift register. And up here, of course, is a potentiometer connected to analog input zero. What makes this different from the previous video I had on this LCD display business is it no longer uses I2C. I adapted everything over to run off of a serial shift register. Um, and the reason I did that is because none of the I2C routines work because of changes in the Arduino compiler. And it's and I should never have gone past my rule. I write my own routines that people can sit here and read and see for themselves and tinker with and play with. Anyway, let's focus back on in on the LCD itself. Okay, what you see in here, it says pot value 427. Value of pi, of course, is rather obvious. I can vary the pot. The thing is, the series of routines I wrote to operate this have other uses besides the 74164. Um, I can display strings, characters, integers, and floats. For the first line, you're seeing a uh, text string pot val equals the 329 or whatever it's the integer value returned from analog 0 and the connected potentiometer and pi was a uh, float value that was printed to the LCD display. Uh, let's look a little bit further. All right, what I've got connected here is one of these little miniature joysticks that you can buy off various vendors at eBay. Or you can use a regular joystick to a PC, I suppose. And you're seeing the X and Y output. Actually, Y is connected to analog zero, which is vertical. And uh, X is connected to uh, analog one which is horizontal. If you sit here and notice how I shift the keys around. You're seeing the values of the two joysticks. How you wish to use these two values is up to whatever you're going to program it to be. But this uh, display setup again is handy for with the analog inputs to reading. Like I said, here's a joystick. The joystick also has a switch that I have not hooked up here. And simple to hook up, about five wires. <laughs> 